CataractCoach.com, the key to fake flip and chop. Here's the maneuver that makes this technique successful. This is a complete cataract case. I'm going to show you my whole surgery from start to finish. Now, for those of you who just can't sit through the beginning part of the surgery, go ahead and watch a different video. If you can't put up with five minutes to watch this surgery, you found the wrong channel. So here goes our dispersive viscoelastic, getting that capsular bag distended and flattened. That anterior capsule should be flat, flat, flat. Here's the main phaco incision using the steel care tome. Nice single plane, good tunnel length. Let's see. I like it. Very square, good tunnel length. Nickel and limbo vessels. That's a good incision. Let's see the rexus. See what we can do here. We're aiming for about a five and a half millimeter rexus. Measuring it out with the forceps, getting a mental idea first. Starting that rexus, pivoting around nice and easy. Get that flipped over. Notice how we pivot in the incision and the forceps don't bang up against the side of the fake incision. We float in the middle of the fake incision. That, my friends, is how you want to do it. That's called pivoting in the incision. And it makes for a much easier rexus. So now I'm using a sponge here to show you this patient has a little LASIK flap. Little secret here. LASIK flap, and you can see the edge of it when I push the sponge in certain meridians. But we've already taken that into account for our lens calculations, so let's get on with the case. Balance all solution. We're going to do some hydro dissection. Watch. <clears throat> the key here is slow and steady, slow and steady, slow and steady, slow and steady, and get that nucleus up out of the bag. Now, a little more dispersive viscoelastic. Let's protect that central cornea. Faco Pro going on ch chop mode, high flow, high vacuum, buzz in, chopper goes around the nucleus. We already have two halves. You don't need more than the two halves here because this lens has maybe two plus nuclear sclerosis, not that dense. We can just wolf it down. Look at that. In much less than one minute, the entire nucleus is gone. Gone, gone, gone. So easy breezy here. Now let's clean up the cortex. Now the advantage of flip and chop is that for a softer nucleus, two plus NS or less, it is fast. It is efficient. It keeps away from the posterior capsule. And because it's a soft nucleus, there's really minimal or no phaco energy needed. There is no corneal edema on post-op day one. So go in here now. Let's clean out that cortex. Nice and easy, coaxial irrigation aspiration. My technician right now is loading up our lens. And you know with the prior LASIK, we're always going to do that monofocal aspheric lens because she had a large degree of myopic ablation. Her corneal power is 36 diopters. It's not going to be great to put in an EDOF or multifocal lens, trifocal lens, so don't do it. Stick with the monofocal. Delivering the lens, here it goes, in the capsular bag, nice and easy. Good job by my technician loading the lens. Let's put it in the capsular bag completely and get this positioned. So we're going to finish up the case here. It's going to be straightforward. But the take-home point here is the key to FACO flip and chop is what? Number one, it can't be too much nuclear density. You don't want a 4-plus brunescent lens. I want 2-plus maybe three plus nuclear sclerosis. That's about it. Number two, you've got to have a good capsular rexus. I need that rexus to be at least five millimeters, hopefully 5.5 millimeters. And number three, when you do the hydro dissection, once you see the first fluid wave, don't stop. Slow and steady, keep injecting the fluid at a low flow, low pressure, because that additional fluid wave is going to help prolapse the nucleus out of the capsular bag. And then finally, when you go in there with the phaco probe, go right there in the subincisional space, hold on to that nucleus, place the chopper around the other side of the nucleus, and get that thing chopped in half. Each half can be multiplied very quickly, and you'll end up with a case like this, a beautiful outcome in just five minutes. It's not that hard.